In your life, God will provide. Raise one of your hands and repeat with me, In my life, God will provide. This week, we will pray the 23rd Psalm every day. And I am sure that all who hear this prayer, with great faith, God will provide a blessing, a victory, that which has been awaited for a long time, that closed door will open. Those who are in debt, facing financial difficulties, God will provide. Because Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You shall not lack peace, health, faith, confidence, prosperity, or anything else. God is faithful. God is mighty. Leave your prayer requests in the comments, in which area of your life do you need me to pray for you, and I will surely intercede for you before our Lord. Those who follow me here already know the significance of the number seven in the spiritual world. The number seven is a prophetic number, so we will pray Psalm 23, seven times, for seven nights, and I believe that God will provide, the Lord will provide for you. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, tonight I want to declare that all those who are here in prayer will receive the blessing of provision. I know that you will provide in the lives of your children. Lord, I want to present to you the causes of each one of your children at this moment, financial problems, debts, legal issues, those who are unemployed, all your children who need provision. May this week doors open, may this week that which was going wrong begin to go right. And your children will remember this prayer, that they held on to you and everything worked out. Rebuke, my God, every spirit of prejudice. We declare victory now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless all those who are here seeking you, and may you not let anything be lacking in their lives. Pray with me with all your faith. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For You are with me. Your rod and Your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For You are with me. Your rod and Your staff, 
they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Under the blessing of Psalm 23, under the blessing of the prosperity prayer, Father, I want to ask you that at this moment, the blessing, the anointing of prosperity, the blessing of abundance, begins to touch this person's life now. I declare that from now on, this person will live a time of abundance, a time of prosperity. And wherever your child lays their hands, even that which would have gone wrong will now go right. I bless you with all the blessings of Psalm 23.